live on the Amazon Meeting Center in downtown Seattle. It's the Cube covering Imagine a Better World, a global education conference sponsored by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're in Seattle, Washington, at the first ever AWS Imagine Education Conference. I think they said there was 900 registrants. Teresa Carlson uh, did the keynote. Just finished. Really fantastic. 900 people, you know, it's funny, she equated it to AWS Public Sector, which seven years ago had 50 people, and this year I think had 15,000 people. So I think we'll see a similar growth here. Really, you know, application of all the things that AWS does for education specifically, and there's all the cost saving and shutting down data centers and all that kind of stuff, but much more importantly is educating the workforce and getting a new class of kids and educators involved in cloud computing, because let's face it, it's the dominant paradigm going forward. I don't think there's much question about that. So we're excited to be here, talk to some of the, the great people, all educators, um, and our first guest is Dr. David Dimmitt. He's the SVP and Chief Engagement Officer at Project Lead the Way. David, great to see yeah, you. Yeah, great, thanks for having us here. So uh, we're excited to be here uh, as part of the, this first ever education conference that AWS is hosting. So great event, lots of fantastic energy. Uh, excited to present later today on diversity and inclusion in computer science education, a space where we're doing a lot of really great work and want to share and also here to learn. Great, so, so give us kind of the overview on Project Lead the Way. Sure, so Project Lead the Way, we are a 20 year old national nonprofit. Uh, we were started in upstate New York and we're working today with over three million students in pre-K all the way through 12th grade uh, in high school. And we work with them in computer science education, biomedical science, engineering. Our job is to inspire kids. We want them to have access to a lifetime of opportunity. We know these skills are essential. Students who have these skills have opportunities, have doors open to them. Students without these skills really uh, today face a lifetime of consequences. Right, so how do you get the skills into the education? You know, it's, it's such a frustration in, in kind of typical K through 12 education. Computer science has not been part of the standard right. curriculum. No, there's the math track, which you take trig and calc, and there's the kind of science track with bio and, and physics and chem, but computer science really hasn't done a great job sure. of weaseling its way into kind of the standard curriculum right. that everybody takes. So how do you how do you get this curriculum in? How do you get the education to the kids? Sure, well, and we're seeing some movement in this area, which is really exciting. AWS has been a big part of that. But what we look at, you know, we, we for the last 20 20 years have really put an emphasis on testing students primarily in those subjects that are easy to test, so core academic content. We definitely need students to have knowledge in those areas. What's been missing for a long time is the connection of that core academic knowledge to a real world problem solving. And that's where kids come in and to a Project Lead the Way classroom and get excited. So we're starting with them early as pre-K, working all the way through, and it's, like I said, all those uh, career pathways, but they're applying what they're learning in their algebra class they're right. applying what they're learning in their physics class and we know the research indicates that students decide really early if they like or are good at math or science and gone are the days where it's okay to just brush off those content areas we need to rethink the way we get kids excited right. and inspired at an early age so so do you pull them then into a separate kind of classroom experience outside of their everyday at school, how, do, how does the mechanics yeah. so, actually work? Right, so we're working with about 14,000 programs all across the country this year, all 50 states, and there are a variety of implementation models. In the early grades and pre-K through five, a lot of times that's integrated into the, the homeroom or into the primary classroom. So we're training teachers all across buildings in a lot of elementary schools all across the country. Okay. When you work your way into middle school and high school, students rotate through, sometimes as an elective, but increasingly we're seeing schools require those courses because it exposes students to some of the careers that they may not understand right. and opportunities that they don't know exist. Right, it's so funny, right? Because technology over and over and over again, back to the Luddites, right? Destroys certain industries, creates new industries, right? You don't want to be the guy making buggy whips, uh, anymore, it's probably not a great sure. industry. But you know, there didn't used to be web developers. There didn't used to be, you know, kind of integration specialists. There didn't used to be SEO, you know, people. So there's a whole new class of applications that continue to be created with each of these huge. Uh, kind of uh, information technology transformations. Yeah. yeah, it really is, and we have an increasing gap, really, unfortunately, in equality of opportunity. Uh, increasingly today, we see students who have access to these opportunities in their pre-K-12 experiences. Those students have a chance to go on to all kinds of careers, whether it's AWS, Verizon, Toyota, Lockheed Martin, you can go down the list. Companies are recruiting students that have these skills. 
students who happen to not get exposed to these opportunities early really struggle to catch up uh, later in life or later in their education system. So we really look at a variety of on-ramps for students. We work in the, in the school day primarily. We also support a lot of work outside the school day. Uh, one of the key things that we do is we help teachers gain confidence in these areas. You know, we were, we were talking earlier about uh, this, the skills gap that exists for adults uh, in getting into some of these careers. Same thing exists for teachers. We have teacher shortages all across the country. And what we're really looking to do is inspire not just students, but the teachers who teach them. We'll train over 10,000 teachers this summer and get them ready to go in and inspire and prepare their right. students. It's really interesting, right? especially you get smarter kids once they're in high school and college, and they're looking for that connection. You know, come on, Dad. Yeah. You know, what am I taking in chemistry? I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm not going to be a chemical scientist. How does it relate right. to what I'm going to do, or philosophy, or whatever? But these types of skills are really, really cogent. And not to mention that, but the kids are interacting with, with these types of applications all the day. So the connection between what I'm doing at school versus what I might be doing when I get out of school has got to be so much tighter than when you take a philosophy class or an American Lit class. Yeah, you know, we're rolling out, and with AWS's support, AWS has provided us with subject matter experts with a lot of the technological tools to help us deliver our brand new cybersecurity course this year all across the country. Uh, we're really excited about that. And you look at what's happening in terms of the cybersecurity threats that our country faces, uh, that other countries face, it's both an economic issue but also a national security issue. And we just don't have the skilled workforce to be effective in those areas. We're inspiring kids through AWS's help to get excited and not just get excited, but to have the skills to go out and be, be successful. So what I love too is a lot of the advances that we anticipate in healthcare are not going to be necessarily biomedical advancements. They will be, but they'll also be technological advances. We've worked with Cerner uh, to train teachers in our computer science courses. They're one of the world's largest medical records companies. How do we provide data and information, big data, uh, to medical providers so that they can provide the best targeted treatment to their students. And so one of the things that we thrive on in our work is the connection to business and industry. And we want to provide that talent, that workforce of the future. Right. So let me just drill in on that a little yeah. bit in terms of the role, you said you've been around for 20 years, your, your foundation, right. kind of the role of, of, of private companies uh, in general, and AWS specifically, in helping on some of these really big problems, these really big efforts, because we know, you know, the public school systems never have enough money, getting pulled in a ton of different directions. So what kind of impact does somebody like AWS coming in help you, you know, kind of complete your mission? Right, so AWS, AWS Educate have provided us with a variety of supports, and they're really helping us do a lot of really great work for students all across the country. A couple of specific examples. I mentioned subject matter experts. Having AWS come in and help us, not just with this cybersecurity course, but also how do we infuse into our other computer science coursework cloud career skill development? And so we're doing that now with AWS's support. And Ken Eisner and his team have really helped us for the last couple of years. It's a, a great partnership. Uh, additionally, providing us with the infrastructure, the applications, the, the um, AWS ecosystem of supports are helping us do a variety of things to secure student data, to also drive down costs to schools. All of those things together provide a great opportunity to the students that we're serving, three million plus all across the country. Three million plus, that's, right. that's great. So th there's a real specific program that I want to give you a chance uh, to talk about, the Kentucky Cloud Careers Pathways. That's kind of an example. Give us yeah. a little bit more color around that. And we talked before, I like Kentucky, I got a lot of family in Kentucky, so uh, it touch, touched me a little bit. And of course, Teresa's from there as well. So. Right. so Kentucky is one of our strongest states for Project Lead the Way and has been for a lot of years. Um, the governor and his cabinet have really done a lot of work to advance career opportunities, workforce development, economic development. And what we have and what we announced last year in Kentucky is the Cloud Career Pathway uh, Program. And that is a partnership between AWS, Project Lead the Way, uh, the community college system in Kentucky, the governor's uh, economic, labor, development, education departments, all of us working together to get kids exposed to cloud careers early in their education experience. And we've started training teachers to that end this year. We think it's going to be a real model for the country. David, I think, that, you know, you said it like, I think in every one of your answers, adding the, and the teachers too, such an important part, right? Such a key enabler to make this thing actually go. Yeah, can't I, just be about the kids. Absolutely, I mean, teachers are, are the bedrock of what we do in education. I say that as a, as a lifelong educator. So, right, right. Um, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, and teachers are under attack in some, in some places, and you know, you've seen this last year, uh, um, 
the work that's happened to put teachers in a position to be successful. And we've got a lot of work to do there. But our job, we want to go out and inspire the country's best teachers to go in and work in some of the most difficult uh, work situations that exist in our country and inspire kids uh, and with limited resources. And uh, teachers are pouring their hearts out to do that. We think we've got a great opportunity, but we train 10,000 plus teachers this year alone, and we see those teachers gain confidence. They go back to their classrooms, they're excited, and they know more about the opportunities right. that exist for their for their students. And I say that as a lifelong educator. Right. In fact, my wife and I met 20 years ago as first year teachers. So that, that to me is really core to what we do. Well, I see the passion in your eyes. So uh, thank you for, for, for you know, following up on yeah. this mission and doing, and doing good work and spending a few minutes with us on theCUBE. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> All right, he's David, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from AWS Imagine Educate. Thanks for watching.